In the previous lecture, we solved our problem number one on the calculation of average power and uh, now we are going to solve our problem number two. And according to the problem, we are required to assume that Vs, the supply voltage is equal to 8 cos 2T minus 40 degrees in volts. And uh, we need to find the average power delivered to 2 ohm resistor. This resistor we are required to find the average power delivered to this resistor. The question is not difficult to understand and uh, the step number one in finding out the solution of this question is to convert this circuit to the frequency domain. So let us understand how we can convert this circuit or any other circuit to the frequency domain. And the first thing we will do is to redraw this circuit as it is. So we have redrawn the circuit as it is and now we will focus on each and every element one by one. First we will focus on the voltage source according to the question Vs is equal to 8 cos 2T minus 40 degrees and therefore we can say that Vm is equal to 8 and theta V is equal to minus 40 degrees and therefore we can say that the phasor of Vs is equal to 8 angle minus 40 degrees. Now moving on to the inductor we are having. Inductor is having the value equal to 300 and uh, in the lecture phasor relationship for inductor we saw that the phasor of the voltage across the inductor is equal to J omega L times the phasor of the current through the inductor and therefore we can say that J omega L is the reactance offered by the inductor and in our case when we have 300 inductor we can say that XL is equal to J multiplied to 2 because 2 is the value of omega the angular frequency multiplied to 3 the value of inductance. So from here we will have XL that is the reactance offered by this inductor equal to J6. So we will write J6 here. Now moving on to the two resistors we are having. While converting to the frequency domain, we don't have to make any changes in the resistance. Now let's move on to our capacitor. While understanding the phasor relationship for the capacitor, we saw that the phasor of the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 1 over J omega C multiplied to the phasor of the current through the capacitor. This means that 1 over j omega c is the reactance offered by the capacitor. So the reactance offered by the capacitor in our case will be 1 over j multiplied to 2 multiplied to 0.25. So we will have 2 over j and when you multiply j in the numerator and j in the denominator you will have minus of j2 negative of j2 so for capacitor we will have negative of j2 so in this way we have converted the circuit to the frequency domain and now we can move on to the calculation of average power to calculate the average power delivered to this resistor, we first need to find out the current flowing through this resistor, let's say I2. And uh, let's say current in this branch is equal to I and current in this branch is equal to I1. And in frequency domain, we will have the phasor of the three currents. And we will first find out I phasor and then by using the current divider rule we will find out I2 phasor. And we can have I phasor after finding out the impedance between these two points when looked from the side. And uh, let us say that the impedance is equal to Z. And it is clear that Z is equal to 2 in series with negative of J2 and the resultant then is in parallel with J6 and finally the resultant is in series with 1. So we will have 2 minus J2 in parallel with 
j6 and they are in series with 1 2 minus j2 in parallel with j6 we can write 2 minus j2 multiplied to j6 divided by 2 minus j2 plus j6 and then we have plus 1 when you perform the multiplication and the addition and simplify it you will have 6 plus j6 divided by 1 plus j2 plus 1 and uh, now we will simplify this using our scientific calculator we will first divide 6 plus j6 by 1 plus j2 and uh, to have this division in the scientific calculator we will first select the mode as the complex mode and uh, then we will input our first complex number 6 plus j6 so inside the bracket 6 plus 6 i to have i we will first press shift and then eng bracket closed divide now we will input our second complex number 1 plus j2 1 plus 2 i bracket closed and now we will press equal to have the real part 3.6 is the real part and to get the imaginary part we will first press shift and then we will press equal and you can see that the imaginary part is equal to minus 1.2 so we will have our complex number which is the impedance equal to 3.6 plus 1 4.6 minus j 1.2 ohms but we want the impedance in the polar form why because we want to calculate i phasor and we will have i phasor when we will divide the voltage phasor by the impedance and uh, the division will be very easy if we have impedance in the polar form and we will use our calculator to convert the rectangular form to the polar form so let us understand how we can have the polar form from the rectangular form using the scientific calculator the first thing you have to do is to input the rectangular form of the complex number we have 4.6 4.6 minus 1.2 i so this is our complex number in rectangular form and to convert it to the polar form we will press shift and then we will press this plus sign and now when you press equal you will find you have the magnitude 4.75 now to get the angle press on shift and then press equal you will have the angle negative of 14.62 degrees so in this way we have our magnitude 4.75 and we have the angle which is negative 14.62 degrees now it is very easy to find out i phasor it will be equal to 8 angle minus 40 degrees divided by 4.75 angle minus 14.62 degrees when you solve it you will find i phasor is equal to 1.68 angle minus 25.38 degrees now we will use current divider rule to find out i2 phasor and we know according to the current divider rule i2 phasor will be equal to i phasor i phasor multiplied to j6 divided by 2 minus j2 plus j6 that will be 2 plus j4 solve it and you will have i2 phasor and once you have i2 phasor you can have the maximum value of current i2 and once you have i2m the average power you can calculate by this formula half i to m square multiplied to 2 so this is homework for you and uh, once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section because it will help me understand that you guys are solving the questions correctly 
and uh, based upon the correct number of responses i may modify my coming lectures now before i end this lecture i want to give you one more method which is little bit quicker method as compared to the method we have followed and in this method we will use nodal analysis and we will perform the nodal analysis in our frequency domain circuit this node here is our reference node and this node here is the principal node having voltage v there are three currents leaving the principal node now when we focus on the first current we can see that it is equal to v minus 8 angle minus 40 degrees divided by 1 i will write the first current here v minus 8 angle minus 40 degrees divided by 1 and the second current is equal to v minus 0 divided by j6 so we will have v divided by j6 and the third current is equal to v minus 0 divided by 2 minus j2 v minus 0 or i can write v divided by 2 minus j2 and from kcl we can say that upon adding them together we will get zero now when you simplify this you will get voltage v and when you put voltage v here in v upon 2 minus j2 you will get current i to phasor and once you have current i to phasor you can have the average power so you can use the nodal analysis to calculate the power delivered to 2 ohm resistor